biodiversity and evolution. To start our lesson, let us first discuss population. Now, what is the meaning of population? Population refers to the number of organisms of the same species living in a certain place. For example, how many male lives in the Philippines or how many female lives in the Philippines. The next is population density. Population density is the average number of individuals per unit of area or volume. For example, how many males live in Barangay San Jose? How many males live in Barangay North Bay Boulevard North? Or how many males live in Barangay North Bay Boulevard South? Because we are talking unit by area. Index of diversity. When we say index of diversity, it is a measure of species diversity. It is a calculation to measure the relationship between the number of species in a community and the number of individuals in each species. Now, to calculate the index of diversity, we have this formula. Index of diversity equals to the number of species times the number of runs over number of individuals in the area. Number of species is, for example, we have the goat, we have the chicken, we have the pig. So we have three species. Next, number of runs. When you say number of runs, it's the number of the same kind of animal in a row. For example, how many pigs do we have? How many chickens do we have? How many goats do we have? And the next one is the number of individual in the area. Factors that affect reproduction and survival. We have the limiting factors. Factors in environmental conditions that limit the size of the population. Limiting factors is anything that constrain a population size and slow or stop it from growing. Some examples of these limiting factors are like food, mates, and competition with other organisms for resources. Carrying capacity. Maximum population and area can support with its resources like food, water, and space. For example, a 10-gallon aquarium. How many fish a 10-gallon aquarium can accommodate? Usually, it can accommodate 10 or 7 fish. But more than that, the aquarium cannot accommodate more because we have limited space and oxygen as well. Now, if we are going to put more fish, the fish will die. Causes of species extinction. First, we have the deforestation, water pollution, air pollution, and destruction of coastal resources. Deforestation is the loss of trees in other vegetation will lead to soil erosion, floods, fewer crops, increased greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and decrease in wildlife resources. Causes of deforestation We have the illegal logging, caingin farming, forest fires, industrialization conversion of agricultural land into different establishments and housing projects, and typhoons.
water pollution. Water becomes polluted because of several reasons like rapid increase in population and industrialization in our country. The wastewater discharge coming from factories in households near bodies of water and debris from different establishment mining industry cause major problems to different bodies of water like eutrophication. Eutrophication exists when the bodies of water becomes enriched with nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus from sewage, manure, pesticides, garbage, cartas, and etc. Amount of oxygen decreases and eventually will not be able for animal life, makes them die. Bodies of water get old. Air pollution is due to the presence of harmful and toxic chemicals in the air. The said chemicals are products of human activities such as transportation, industrial work, mining, manufacturing, industries, and combustion from vehicles. Those activities produce harmful gases such as carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and hydrocarbons. The Earth's temperature increases due to rapid accumulation of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, which changes the world's climate. Destruction of Coastal Resources The Philippines is one of the 17 mega biodiverse countries containing two-thirds of the Earth's biodiversity. Thus, it provides several ecosystems, one of which is the marine ecosystem. But marine ecosystem is endangered, particularly the coral reefs, due to some human activities. activities that destroys marine ecosystem. First is over-exploitation and overfishing. Dynamite fishing and practicing the Muro Ami. Deforestation. Agricultural and mining activities. Coastal development. Beach resorts. Construction of roads. Homes hotels, and restaurants. Acid precipitation. It is commonly known as acid rain. It includes any form of precipitation that contains acidic components, such as sulfuric acid or nitric acid, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA. Another pollutant aside from sulfur and nitrogen oxides are emission from factories and fuel combustion. Harmful effects of acid rain. It can change the composition of soil and bodies of water, which make it uninhabitable for local animals and plants. It causes yellowing of leaves of trees and causes leaves to fall. It can also deteriorate limestone in marble buildings and monuments. Thank you for listening.